Hey guys, it's here, Stu, and today we reviewed the DQ LEGO Blake Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 6 pack minifigures. So, these are the boxes here. So, you can see I put them in the, this plastic thing. And yeah, so you got Star Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Grax, and uh, Gamora. Uh, you, you got Yondu and Taser Face. And yeah, so uh, I put this together just to not. You know, make this very confusing and all the box falling off. But yeah, so this is the front, and it's also recommended for just six and up. And uh, this is set from uh, zero to six two to zero to six seven. So these are the sides of the boxes here. So it shows you how to build a minifigure and also how to build their weapons. And yeah, this is the first screen and. Uh, the second tree so yeah that's it so this is the other side of the box here so you know it just shows you the minifigure and everything and yeah so that's it this is the bottom and yeah the back uh the backs of the boxes they are all the same so i'm going to just show you one and you know it just shows you all the minifigures and you know they are just uh, in line here so yeah that's uh, pretty cool but uh, not very interesting so yeah that's it first main figure is Star Lord and yeah so you can see you got uh, his very nice helmet mode here and it's the same one as the you know from the first movie and yeah uh, you guys here on the top there and you know you guys really nice red eyes and uh, you know he's armed with both of his uh, a quad blaster kind of thing but yeah so on the back uh, you guys uh, jetpack and uh, his torso printing looks uh, you know pretty nice and it's pretty much the same as the Gamora except with a few difference but you know uh, the leg print thing uh, it, it is the Hawkeye leg print thing from uh, Civil War and uh, yeah, so under his helmet is of course Pierre Quill and uh, they also uh, include uh, his hairpiece which is the uh, Superman hairpiece and yeah, so it looks good and yeah, this is his alternate expression so yeah, let's just uh, remo remove off this and uh, you can see you guys back printing which I believe is the jetpack uh, printing so yeah that's uh, pretty cool but uh, that's really it for Star Lord the second figure is a uh, rocket raccoon so yeah uh, he's armed with uh, his uh, blaster and uh, it's almost the same as uh, from the Ravager attack set except uh, they just added in this uh, lightsaber hilt and yeah uh, this is just a uh, alien conquest pistol and you got the aim there so uh, you can see rock Raccoon here uh, he has a really nice head mode here and for some reason a uh, really small hole on the top there but yeah so you got all his fur printing and you got really small eyes you got his uh, you got his nose and you know uh, you got uh, his kind of grinning kind of mouth expression and you know but yeah, uh, so the torso printing here looks pretty good. You know, you got some straps, uh, the zip in the middle, and yeah, uh, I like the blue col coloring tone. It looks good. And uh, the back here, they also include the tail for rac Rocket Raccoon. And uh, if you see the, the back printing, so yeah, just some straps and, you know, pretty nice printing, you know, like. It looks good. So, yeah, uh, obviously Rocket Raccoon is, is, uh, has uh, short legs. And, yeah, that's it for Rocket Raccoon. The third figure is a uh, Grax. So, I also forgot to mention, uh, uh, they also include the base plate for them, for each of the figures. So, yeah, that's nice. So, uh, the Grax here, uh, you can see you guys very angry expression, you got, uh, you know, some tattoos there, and, uh, his torso printing is just all full of tattoos, and, you know, uh, it does also have side, uh, arm printing, 
and yeah that that looks great and uh you know you got his um dagger i believe or knife but yeah so you can see you guys about there and the lycra thing looks pretty good it, it is pretty useful actually and you know it i really like the blue coloring tone and yeah the back here just some more tattoo printing and also uh he has uh the jetpack but yeah so this is the back printing just a lot more tattoo printing and yeah it looks uh pretty good Om almost the same as the front uh not really the exactly the same but yeah it it looks pretty good so yeah so this is gamora here so uh she has her um a sword there and uh you can see she is also armed with her uh kind of alien conquest pistol but uh she is armed with a rifle in the movie so yeah that's it that is inaccurate so yeah but you know you got her in uh you got her hair mode with uh some purple printing on there which looks great and i'm gonna remove it so you can see her face and you got her alternate expression as well and yeah so her torso here uh if, if you can see the shape of it is different it's a uh, woman kind of torso printing i guess so yeah that's uh, pretty nice that the crew made it and yeah the torso printing is the exact same uh for star lord and yeah uh the the legs printing as well you know because it is the hawkeye from civil war and Hawkeye like printing, I mean, but yeah, this is uh, this is her alternate expression, and yeah, you got the jetpack printing on the back, but that's uh, really it for Gamora. So, uh, this is a uh, Yondu here, so uh, you can see he has his a uh, gold arrow, which uh, is from the uh, is from the Aisha's Revenge set, and you know, you obviously uh, he has this uh pistol which i don't know why they included it but yeah i guess it's nice to get it but yeah so you can see his head here uh you got his um smiling printing and you got some beard and yeah so the top here as you can see dq did not uh, include the fin instead they just include a towel piece which yeah i guess uh i can understand that but maybe they could have made it but yeah, whatever. The torso printing here, you got just some straps on there, and you know, it looks good. And yeah, so the side of the coat here, kind of thing, you know, you got his uh, Ravager symbol there, obviously, because this is a, a Ravager suit. And yeah, so uh, his leg printing here, you know, just uh, the coat extends to it extends there but you know i uh, just got some black lining there and yeah the back here um you got this clip thing on the back i don't know but you know you you got a really nice pat pattern design there which i'm not sure if you can see but yeah uh it's really hard to see but you know you know you just got some uh lining there and yeah, that lastly is um, Taser Face from uh, the Ravager Attack set. So, uh, you can see you guys a really big uh, rocket launcher here with a stud shirt at the front, with, which, you know, does shoot. And yeah, uh, it's pretty nice that they included that uh, instead of just a pistol. But yeah, so uh, you can see you got his really long beard and his uh, really long hair which uh, i'm gonna remove so yeah i uh, got his uh face under there so you know pretty cool face printing but yeah so his torso printing is uh in ravager colors so you know uh a lot of straps uh you got the ravager symbol there i believe and you know uh the light printing is also more straps and you know some lining which you know is really hard to see but yeah so this is the back printing so you got uh some uh you got some of his like fur printing but you know it's just some i don't know his jacket or something i'm not sure but the uh, back here you know looks pretty good so yeah uh that's uh, really it for taser face 
So overall conclusion, how do I think uh, of uh, this set? So I think the main figures included there here are great, but uh, they could have included uh, like more figures or like you know make this thing into a eight pack. But DQ just sticks to six pack for like each movie. So yeah, it's uh, kind of bad, but. You know, the figures here, uh, the selection is uh, pretty good aside from Taser Face because uh, Taser Face is uh, from the Ravager Tag set and yeah, he's a villain. They, they're supposed to include uh, all heroes in this set, but yeah, like maybe like Mantis or something, but if they made it a, a pack, they, c they could include uh, Mantis and Aisha maybe, but yeah, that that is just a nitpick, but you know, uh, overall these figures they are pretty good, but you know, you know, may maybe if they included uh, the Yondu's uh, fin would have been nice. But uh, yeah, aside from that, um, that's really it for this set. So I do recommend it if you haven't get uh, the official Lego Guardians of the Galaxy set. So. Yeah, uh, buy for this set down in the description below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you enjoy, if you want to join our Facebook group, Alternative Bricks, I'll put a link down in the description below as well. But thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon.